Welcome once again to Lato's Law. Here's Steve Lato. As some of you know, uh, I am of Finnish ancestry. My great-grandparents all came to America from Finland a while back, and uh, I do not speak Finnish, but my parents did. Uh, my mother and father both grew up in households where Finnish was the primary language, English they learned second. I was of the first generation where that flipped, taught English first, and then wasn't taught Finnish, but that's another story altogether. So uh, I got a note from Yari uh, in Finland who said, Steve, check out this story. I think you might enjoy this. And I do have viewers in other countries, which I think is so cool. I did a, a premiere yesterday on a video and had people checking in from all over, which I think is really cool. So Finland detects more GPS jammers as drivers increasingly try to hide their tracks. This is from YLE News, which is a big news source over there. And so we've talked about your stuff tracking you, your phone tracking you, and your car tracking you. Those are the primary things. And we talked quite a bit recently about the car. So you're driving around in your car, and uh, it's got a GPS thing on it, infotainment center on it. It's connected. And uh, it turns out that the car companies are often gathering all kinds of data about your driving and where you drive and, and how often you drive and so on, and then selling the information to people who might want to know that, to market stuff to you and so on. So some people have apparently decided, hey, maybe I can jam the GPS in the car to confuse it. And so apparently there's devices that allow you to do that. Now, whether you can use that device legally or not is another story altogether, because it turns out that owning the device in Finland is not illegal, but using the device to interfere with signals is a crime. And this happens quite a bit. There are all kinds of things that only become illegal when you use them. So for instance, a lock pick or a pick lock, as it's often called in the law. And the lock picking lawyer, who's a fabulous creator on YouTube, but he's cheating. He only shows you his hands. <laughs> I've corresponded with him before. He's a great guy. Love that guy. It's, it's the most ingenious channel. And he himself is like a magician with locks. It's, it's surprising and shocking what he can do. But what he's doing is perfectly legal because he is simply picking his own lock in the comfort of his own home, presumably. However, if the police encountered you and you're walking down the street, and, and let's get around all of the objections you're going to have at the Fourth Amendment. I'm simply saying, let's suppose you're walking down the street, police officer walks up to you, and you've got lock picks in your hand, okay? He can see them, plain view. And he goes, what are those? And you go, lock picks. You choose not to remain silent. Lock picks. Guess what? You're just walking down the street with them. In many states, that is not illegal. I'm saying in many states because I can't confirm that I've checked all 50 this morning, okay? It's still early. <laughs> However, if they caught you breaking into a building and you had the lock picks on you, especially if you use them to break into the building, then that might escalate what you get charged with. So kicking down the door might be one thing. Picking your way through it with lock picks or pick locks is another. So I'm just, I'm just letting you know that. So another example I can think of is Police scanners. You can get a police scanner at the store and bring it home and sit there and listen to the police chatter on their police radios. If you put that police scanner in your car and you're driving around with it listening to the police scanner, believe it or not, in some places that's illegal because they don't want bad guys or bad girls to... <laughs> it doesn't sound right. Uh, bad guys or bad gals. Uh, they don't want bad people driving around with the police scanner because theoretically if you're going to commit a crime and you're listening to the police scanner and somebody calls in you go "Ooh, we've been we've been outed quick take off cheese it the fuzz right <laughs> okay that's before my time that's that's just from an old movie okay however the point is that owning the device isn't necessarily illegal it's what you do with it so the transport and communications agency in Finland, has so far this year detected 106 GPS disturbances caused by signal jamming devices in cars. You have to understand that the Finns like their privacy. The Finns actually think they deserve privacy when they're standing next to another person. And there's all kinds of jokes about social distancing in Finland because they've been doing it since the beginning of time. Uh, if you go to a bus stop and there's three people there, one will be standing outside the bus stop at this end. One will be outside the bus stop at this end. And one person will be standing in the middle of the actual 
weather structure, okay? They don't make small talk. They don't make eye contact, okay? I would be considered a very unusual Finn if I was living in Finland and I behaved the way I do. <laughs> so, some drivers use the small, low-power devices to conceal the location of their vehicles, uh, also to mess with the tachographs, which is the uh, thing that measures the vehicle's speed and distance, but also smartphones. According to Suvi Yuriko Lehikinen, head of spectrum management at Traficom. And yes, I got every single one of those names mispronounced, and I apologize. But they have very long names. When activated, the devices interfere with GPS signals in a relatively small radius that measure from a few dozen to several hundred meters. Authorities have found people using the jammers in company cars tracked by their employers. So you get a company car, and you know that they can track where you drive it. And you'd really like to drive it someplace else today, but you don't want them to know. Hey, look at that. My GPS malfunctioned for the entire drive. Authorities uh, have also found people using jammers uh, in trucks uh, in an attempt to somehow disrupt that kind of tracking. According to the person from the government, when a jammer is found turned on in a company car, for example, um, Traficom will contact the firm that owns the vehicle and let them know. But, of course, they've got to detect it, identify the vehicle, and then do it. A data analysis professor from University of Helsinki uh, told YLE in January that use of the small jamming devices is a growing problem in Finland. She noted that the electronic gadgets are available online for as little as a few dozen euros. According to Traficom, a total of 714 personal GPS jammers were found activated on the roads in Finland last year. That figure reflects a significant increase from 2022 when just 422 were found. Uh, the reason the devices are problematic is they affect GPS signals around them. So it's not just messing up your own car, but other cars nearby. So Traficom makes efforts to track down the jammers on their own, but also follow up on tips from the public. Last week, Traficom reported that Finland had seen a five-fold increase in GPS disturbance reports. So you're driving along, and all of a sudden the GPS in your infotainment center wax out. A uh, Traficom monitoring vehicle recently patrolled the devices around Utseno in South Karelia, where there are reports of repeated observations of jammers. Uh, if needed, the agency then calls on police for assistance. According to the Southeastern Finland Police Department, possessing or purchasing a GPS jammer is in itself not illegal. It's the use of the device that would become a crime. And so I also know for a while, I, I heard about this in the news, that there were devices you could get that would jam cell phones. Uh, it wouldn't jam them, but, it, but it, would, it would interfere in such a way that it would cause someone else's cell phone to hang up. So I've heard stories about people getting on, on like a bus or a subway or whatever, and they're annoyed by someone else talking on their cell phone, and so they could cause that cell phone signal to get lost. And again, that's illegal. In America, that'd be a federal offense. Because remember, the airwaves are, are ruled by the Federal Communications Commission. So... Um, this is unfortunately the kind of thing that is a byproduct of people who don't want their vehicles tracking them. And so I mentioned before when I did the video most recently about the car companies selling your data is that the government needs to pass laws on this to allow consumers to opt out. You should be allowed to opt out of your car spying on you. And we've talked about that big, long terms of service thing that scrolls by and they ask you to click on it when you activate all your systems in your car. Um, I've never met anybody who's actually said, no, I do not accept these terms and conditions. Because I suspect at that point, much of the functionality of that unit gets lost. And so if I'm paying for a GPS mapping software thing in my car, I should be allowed to use that without being forced to let someone else sell that information to someone I don't know. Uh, or another way to do it would be simply to say, oh, you can sell it, but you must give all the money to the car owner. <laughs> it's my data, why not? It would stop doing it immediately. But either way, either way. So here's the scary part. I have no idea to what extent this is happening here. I assure you it is happening here, okay? I assure you. Finland is a, is a beautiful country. I've never been there, but my parents have been there many times. Never been to Finland, never been to Spain. 
Uh, but I can tell you that, you know, technologically, they're, they're quite advanced. Uh, but I can also tell you that Finland has the population uh, about the size of uh, a large American city. So it's the equivalent of all this happening in one big city in America. And so if it's happening there, it'll be happening here if it's not already, but I suspect it already is. And that's, like I said, one of the byproducts of we're going to force you to let us sell all your data, and we can spy on you in the meantime. O okay, how can I stop this? Well, one way is with a GPS jammer, which again, using it that way would be illegal. However, owning it might not be. I haven't checked. <laughs> At least in Finland, it's not. So, hey, when you get pulled over and hassled by a cop, go, hey, in Finland, that's not illegal. If nothing else, it'll baffle them for about 30 seconds. So Finland detects more GPS jammers as drivers increasingly try to hide their tracks. From YLE News, and Yari sent it. Thanks a lot, my friend. Questions or comments, put them below. Let's talk to you later. Bye-bye. Thank you for watching Lato's Law. Owning less is better than organizing more.